hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i am angie make sure you subscribe like share comment and all that good stuff so today i'm going to be sharing a few tips and tricks concerning makeup and most especially eyeshadow um on how to get to to get the right technique of applying your eyeshadow so first things first when you want to apply eyeshadow probably a look that you've seen on somebody you have to first have identified your type of eye by the type of eye i mean what kind of lead space do you have present because you've i'm sure one or two people have tried this you've seen somebody doing a certain look and when you try it out on you it doesn't appear exactly like theirs did so the type of eye really really matters because for example i have protruding eyes protruding eyes until these eye bags over here and it also entails this wide space wide working space wide working space on the eyelid like you see this white working space there and the puffy eyes of upper chini so that's what the protruding eye entails there is also the monolid where you you can't view the crease or if there is no crease present there's the upturned eyes downturned eyes the ones that look gloomy the upturned look like this and the downturned look more of this you look kind of gloomy and then there's the deep set eyes there's the white set there's the close set the white set eyes are those where you are your eyes are far apart and so you upper when they are far apart they are like more than an eyeball can fit up so it's more than an eyeball those people that have one eye like kalaba in guinea and then there's the close set where your eyes are so close together barely an eyeball size up a chini so yeah the couple there's a guy called wayne goss if i'm not wrong he really explains types of eyes quite quite well and the type of eyeshadow that you should apply p.s let me give a disclaimer i am no makeup guru second i don't think there are any rules to makeup but i think on this specific case which is the eyeshadow there is stuff that you need to put into consideration because they're also the hooded eyes you know the hooded eyes there's barely space that is visible yes they have the the lids and all that but it's covered the lid is is covered by skin so they are hooded because <laughs> they have some skin on top of them so there's barely any lid that is visible that makes it so it it gives them an option of applying shimmer shades most of shimmer shades or you can apply nude shades or no sh no shades at all but then i think that the hooded eyes kind of look cute together with the white set eyes the the almond shaped and all that i think they're really cute so yeah for the let me speak on the protruding eyes since that's what i have for the protruding eyes the kind of eyeshadow or the technique that should master is that for when it comes to applying the shimmer shades um if you don't want your eyes to pop so much you can apply the shimmer shades harper towards the tear drop up a tear dot towards the tear dot heading there or if you want your eyes to pop you really don't mind that you can apply the shimmer shade at the center at the center of your lid yeah the aim of not popping is making your eyes look longer like now if you see my eyes right now and you see them before the there's quite some big 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 difference so yes that's something that should take into consideration sana because you you probably ask yourself why a certain loop does not work on you and yeah those kind of questions just know it's because of your type of eye and there is us there is a technique for each kind of eye for us it's more we are 
do I feel versatile? But we are exposed to more options. Like we are, we can apply the smoky eye quite well, freely, cause because of the eye space and all that and all that. Yeah, there are tutor. There are so many tutorials that explain all of that. But go and check out Wayne Goss. I'm going to put his description link hapachini so that you can go and check him out. He explains the eyes quite, quite, quite well. So something else that is the type of eyes. Secondly, there is how you hold your brush when you're applying your eyeshadow. Um, when you hold your brush towards the end, like here, there is less control. But when you hold it towards hapa, where the brush area is, there is more control. When you're holding it like this, you either want to remove the excess or, yeah, mostly remove the excess or just blend it in thoroughly or something like that. When you want more control, you hold it towards here. When you want less control, just here, yeah, towards the end. Yeah, that's something else. Mm. What else? When it comes to applying makeup, no, this is out of eyeshadow and all that. When it comes to applying makeup, you really, really have to take care of your skin. Especially if your skin is prone to acne, you will see in my next video, which is going to be of how I achieved this beautiful look. You'll see that my skin is prone to acne and you really need to take care of your skin. That is like the fundamental rule. You need to take care of your skin before applying any of these. You need to wash your skin thoroughly, tone it, moisturize it, and all that. You really need to do all that in order to take care of your skin, just in case it reacts to chemicals, because foundation, concealers, and all that, all that could irritate your skin, regardless of whether they are original or not. So yes, um, that's something else. And what I didn't know this actually, this is my very, this is my very very first time attempting to do my eyebrows. In a previous video, like my first video on makeup, um, um I I said that I don't do my eyebrows at all. I don't do I did I don't normally I didn't used to do I think I'll try it out I don't know how I feel about it yet I'm yet to figure out and I'll be trying it out more often or not but for now this is my first time doing my eyebrows my first time doing such a bold color on my eyes and my first time applying false lashes eyeshadow and and eyebrows are no problem let me talk about the lashes well, it's so difficult applying lashes when sorry for the noises it's so difficult applying the lashes when you don't have that cutting to hold on the false lashes so that you can put them in place it's very difficult but the techniques you can adapt for it just in case it gets difficult for you to and there is also a dozen, a ton, ton of tutorials on how to put on false lashes. Yeah, so mm, I love them anyway, but it's not something I do daily, but I love the exploring. Yes. So I intend on doing a lot more of makeup videos and all that and all that and all that. So yeah, if you have any question regarding eyeshadow and all that, I really think eyeshadow is something great. It's it's a work of art. Like it's art. You know, it's like you're painting on a very small space, but it that small space really brings out a great difference in your makeup. Cause I, I prefer eyeshadow to lipstick. Yeah, I'd say that I'd prefer eyeshadow to lipstick. I'd apply gloss all the time with any kind of look, but for my eyeshadow, mm, it's gonna be diverse so yes if you have any question ask me my instagram handle is angie dies as well go check me out there and yeah don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to subscribe yeah and like and comment and share to your friends anybody who is interested me 
yes i'll try and post as often as i can probably on saturdays uh if fortunate enough saturdays and sundays yeah i really hope so so until next